Hello and welcome to tutorial number 42 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to open the contents of a text file and put it into a text box so it's something that I should have taught you a long time ago but we're going to just cover it now so you know so go ahead and create a new project and just call it reading text files Okay. <coughs> Set load up. Okay. And my computer's going a bit slow, sorry. Okay. So the first thing you want to need is just put a label down and change the text to file path now for this you can use a open file dialog if you want but I'm just going to use file path and just type it manually so put file path and add a text box and this is going to be the path of the file that we're going to open now we're going to add one more text box underneath here and click multi-line just make it fill the area and we're going to add two buttons this one's going to be open and then just add another button clear okay now we're ready to start coding so double click on open and this is going to be our code so we've worked with a stream reader before and I think yeah I'm pretty much I explain what it is but it's pretty self explanatory and we're just going to use the stream reader to read the contents of a text file and put it into a text box so first of all we're going to type dim object Obj reader as new system dot io dot stream reader and in brackets we're going to type text box one dot text because that is the text that we're going to be well reading and then next all we need to type is text box two dot text equals obj object or obj reader dot read to end and that's just going to first we declare object reader as a new stream reader and we're reading text box one which is going to be the file path and then we're going to say text box two is object reader which is this dot read to end so next we're, go we're going to need to type obj reader dot close that's going to dispose of it and now let's see if that works now I've created two text files in my C drive called test and test2 I think it was called so I'm just going to type C test.txt open yep and there it is this this is text number one bb.net BB owns then I'll do test2.txt this is the second test what's up okay so now we can go ahead double click clear and type text box two dot whoops two dot clear and it's going to clear the content of this text box and now another thing we can do is we can check if the file exists so up here above where we declare the stream reader we can say if system dot io dot file exists which is it's just we use this to check the file exists and whoops what did I type wrong there dot file dot exists sorry A bit tired right now extremely tired actually well if system that I have the file dot exists and in brackets um text box one dot text equals true then 
we want it to do this which is going to put the text into text box 2 now we're going to type else because this is going to be if the, this file does not exist else we're going to message box dot show that file does not exist and end if so this is going to say if this file exists text box one the path is true then it's going to put the text into this text box and if it doesn't exist then it's going to give this error message so say we type c whatever dot txt i haven't created that open this that file does not exist that's because it doesn't exist and now let's go back to test.txt we can hit clear it will clear the text box and that was a bit of a short tutorial just how to create well how to open the contents of a text file because i think i've got a lot of pms and i think i better i should have made this tutorial earlier because a lot of people keep asking me how do you take how do you read the text file and put it into a text box well this is how you do it so um thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions about this then just leave a comment if you have any suggestions or requests leave a comment as well and please rate this video and subscribe to my channel for many more tutorials